Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in brief about the IR instrumentation and the working principle. Generally, Fourier transform IR spectroscope, that is FT IR, is used to measure the vibrational and rotational transitions of diatomic molecules, especially in the gaseous phase. In general, IR spectroscopy involves the transitions of vibrational levels and hence IR spectroscopy is also known as vibrational spectroscopy. Coming to the instrumentation, FT IR consists of a light source, two mirrors and the beam splitter which is coated with KBR in order to reflect 50% of the radiation. So what is the importance of potassium bromide? It reflects 50% of the radiation. So initially the light is combined with laser beam. So here whenever the light source is combined with the laser beam, it provides the best reference of the instrumentation. So initially whenever the light source falls on the beam splitter, it is capable of splitting the radiations into two identical halves having the same intensity. So one beam is passed towards the fixed mirror and that will be reflected back to the beam splitter and the other radiations will be passed through the movable mirror. So with the help of movable mirror which can be moved, so it provides the path difference between the radiations obtained from the fixed mirror and the movable mirror. Again, the light source will be reflected back to the beam splitter from the movable mirror. So, at the beam splitter, always the radiations coming from the fixed mirror and movable mirror will recombine. Here, it provides the path difference. So, because of the path difference, it creates the interference. So, again, this radiation is passed through the sample. So, here the sample will absorb the radiation characteristic of the functional groups and the remaining radiation will be transmitted. With the help of the detector, always the percentage of the trans transmittance will be detected. Automatically, a graph will be drawn between the wave number and the transmittance. Always in the IR region, it gives inverted sharp peaks. In that way, by observing the IR spectrum obtained for the sample, it is possible to identify the nature of the function groups present in the given compound. If the same graph is drawn in the fingerprint region, it is possible to observe the nature of the compound. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.